Brand Rising family. And try, drive up. All right, today, <clears throat> you know, I start my morning off with Dolph, with Young Dolph, every day. Because I need, we're gonna keep his energy alive. Even though his energy is alive, but amongst the, the living, we're gonna keep his energy alive. So I make sure every day is part of my ritual that I play dog. I want y'all to understand something. And y'all quit thinking that it's all just industry shit. Those with the eye can see the truth. Starting with, like I told y'all before, they know who you are before you get here. All right? They know who your bloodline is connected to before you get here. This is one of the reasons that you got social security cards, birth certificates, IDs. All these are tracking devices, okay? To keep up with you. That's why y'all gotta get up out the corporate system. Dolph and Juice World were cousins. Mind you, let's start with Juice World. Juice World had a bigger impact than Dolph until Dolph died. See, I was jamming Dolph way before I'm like, Dolph was one of my favorite people. And I love his music. Oh my God. I just love the way he rap, his ad libs, everything. But my reason for loving Dolph was the fact that he was a good soul. So it was Juice World. Mind you, these two cousins, they come from a royal bloodline. I gotta do my research a little bit more. Uh, as I go through his grandmama, Ida May, I'm gonna do a little more research to tell y'all exactly who, who uh, his royal bloodline is connected to. Juice where I had a huge impact on the world with his music, right? They had to get them boys out of here. Dolph had a huge impact with his music. It's just a lot of people, uh, I say, all the South, everybody knew who Dolph was and jammed Dolph shit. But like, in uh, other states besides California, other states, uh, they may not have really known who he was till he died. And mind y'all, Dolph was completely independent. When I say completely, he wasn't signed to no empire contrary to what y'all believe. He wasn't signed to empire. That's why when he died, all his shit went to his family and his kids. Ugh, fucking worm. So, they can cut that shit out. Y'all can stop spreading that rumor. I mean, it's common sense. Empire will be getting a piece of the pie. Now, every artist known to Empire, but we ain't gonna get into that. I just wanna get into the royal bloodlines. Y'all, they had to get rid of him because he, he was, his impact was getting greater and greater and greater. And he, everybody around him, he turned into bosses, okay? They didn't want that 
because the industry has to run everything. Because y'all gotta understand, all these little companies like Empire is connected to the same people. They the father companies and the mother companies of all these people. If you look down their bloodline, they uh they are family. All right, Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle is connected to Haley Selassie. But y'all gotta understand this. When you have gods that have been here before, they'll come back in another form. So Haley Selassie came back in the form of Nipsey Hussle, AKA Ermius Joseph Ashkada. And if y'all think I'm bullshit, go put Haley Selassie picture next to Doc. I mean next to uh, Nipsey. And y'all will see. And if you got the eye, you're gonna start spiritually connecting the dots. All right? Because once you see the energy on both pictures, you're gonna know they're the same people. This is why they have to stop. It, it don't have nothing to do with no street shit. What they do, they use street shit. They use street shit as a cover. The same way I keep telling y'all, y'all, y'all want to talk about the white man this and the white man that. The white man is the middle man. He is not the plug. The people who run the world. Let me say this, and I'm gonna say it slow. The people who run the world look like this, okay? So I want y'all to understand that. And if you go to Eldorado Hayes page, he gonna break it down from beginning to end for you, just in case y'all don't understand. So, they gave the middleman, which is the white man, 6,000 years to rule over the collective. That's why they say it in the Bibles, but they call it the devil. They gave the devil 6,000 years. Okay, time to rule this up. Now, we gotta sit back on our rightful thrones. Okay, so anyway, let me explain it to y'all this way. When you come through that star gate, your mother's womb, before they pull you through that star gate and they hit you with all these lights and shit, right? So you can forget who you are that's the purpose of them doing that. Elder Rod Hayes break that shit down too. Okay, and how, and how I know that the people that run the world look like this. Like I told y'all, since 2011, my brother is a more. So he broke all this shit down to me 12 years ago. And I'm so happy that Elder Rod Hayes came here and broke everything down in labor's terms for everybody to understand, even kids. All right, but anyway, once you go through the Stargate, you're here, they take your footprints. Because energetically, as I told y'all, any contracts that belong to the corporation, you have to sign or you have to put your energy on. So as a baby, what they do is they take your feet, your, your feet print, right? That's your en energetic stamp. That's your energetic signature. That's why anytime that y'all sign any kind of contracts, whether it's a mortgage or auto loan or whatever it may be, they have to have your signature. They will not let you uh, 
they will not let you put a stamp. Like you literally have to sign, even on a computer. Your energy has to be a part of whatever you sign because you are giving them consent to whatever they're asking you in them contracts, okay? Like I explained to y'all, this is where a lot of celebrities unconsciously uh, don't know the esoteric value of the contracts, right? Not knowing that they, when they sign them contracts, that they are signing with certain entities and spirits and demons. They just, they just looking at the bag. They disguise their bag, which has a demon attached to it. All right? And the same thing that happened with Nipsey, once he signed them contracts, it was a done deal because he opened his spirit up to all the shit that went on and happened to him. Dolph didn't sign the contract, but he had to, they really had to get him up out of here. Nipsey had already made the pact with the devil unconsciously, not realizing until he did it and all this crazy shit started happening to him right before he died. So, So, okay, let me get back because I'm jumping from subject to subject. So when you come through that Stargate, they give you a number, which you are born into slavery, into the corporation. They give you your straw man. They give you your number, your account number. You are stock, okay? Like I told you about 12 years ago, you could go to fidelity.com and see how much you're worth by putting in your, uh, the numbers at the bottom of your birth certificate on there. But you can't do it no more. It's a lot of loopholes and shit you gotta go through. They tried to block that out real good. But I can tell you right now, my worth, my brother was worth was uh, 1.8 billion and my worth was 3.2 billion, okay? Anyway, let me get back to what I'm saying. So when they do that, they give you your birth certificate, which is your stock exchange. Because they, ex they was exchanging it every day on the stock market. This is before everything got shut down. This is how they was doing it. So say for instance, if you are uh, connected to a royal bloodline like Nips, you have to be able to sign over your rights to one of these entities, okay? And then they're going to use you up, you know, they're going to make you monetarily rich with that fiat money, what they call it. But if you ain't with the program, they got to get you up out of here. Dolphin Nip wasn't with the program. You see what I'm saying? So, that's why it's so important for y'all to research your genealogy and find out what bloodline, what tribe you connected to. Because at this point right now, everything is in our favor. Everything is shut down. Now we just gotta um, reclaim our birthrights to the land and put these motherfuckers on public notice. So that's why we stressing, know your bloodline, know your genealogy so you can collect your land. For some reason, I don't know, and I could be wrong. I think I may be connected to Noble Drew Ali because when I was doing the research and reading some of his teachings, 
uh, some of the places he connected to, my family's connected to, because I have Masons and Moors in my family. And we have a family crest. So, I'm still working on all that. That's why I say, um, we doing the footwork and all my family, I want y'all to start uh, doing it while we all doing it together so we can help each other with whatever. But anyway, uh, as I was saying, they know what star system you come from, who you connected to, and this is why they have to eliminate certain people if they're not with the program. This don't have nothing to do with no street shit. The street shit is a cover. Yes, it, yes, they will use your enemies against you to keep their hands from getting dirty. They know the first thing niggas chase is a bag. So that's how they always been able to get. I ain't gonna say our people. I'm gonna say them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Because niggas don't understand if they had the power to do and have anything that they choose, they wouldn't need a bag. So, with that being said, I just want to give y'all a little education so y'all can stop looking at the crash test dummies when it comes to them assassinating Dolph and people like uh, gods like Nipsey Hussle and Dolph. See, when you got the eye, when you start connecting with nature, you start connecting with Big Mama, you're going to see everything. You're going to see shit you don't even want to see. But once you see something, you can't unsee it. Okay? You can try to put them shades back on to block the light. But them UV rays shining too bright. When it comes to the esoteric world, come to the spiritual world. But uh, I just want to give y'all a little education on that before I took my ass into work. I can't wait, though. I got a week and a half left at these motherfucking jobs, y'all hear me? And we are, I am done. So... Once I get y'all on point and everybody on the same page, and I'm talking to myself and my tribe, everybody on the same page, uh, then I ain't got to come on here no more. I done did my job. So I'll be back a little later on, y'all. And I'm going to try to go live, but uh, y'all don't never get my notifications. And I don't like sitting on there. feel like I'm talking to myself. So I'll just make a video if y'all don't show up. But And I know it ain't y'all fault. You two don't like us. So I'll see y'all in a minute. I'll show you.